Hello everyone, this is Ninja Girl Sakura One here, back with my Sailor Moon Another Story Let's Play. Last time we just started the game and we saw the beginning cutscene with something strange going on in the time of 30th century Crystal Tokyo. For some reason, the Silver Crystal, or Ginzoi Shell, was vibrating very wildly in Neo Queen Serenity and King Damien took notice. And then we flash forward, or back, I should say, to the present, where we saw Usagi and the girls. Well, first, Usagi actually had deja vu. She went to Osapi and had to fight a monster and save Naru again. And the monster was a daimon, so that's when she went and told the other girls about it. So, yeah. And then Ami arrived and said she was going to be meeting a friend of hers, Uroa, who she is very close with basically her boyfriend, and it turns out he has been attacked on the train, so we gotta go rescue him. So that's what we're gonna do now. So let's go. If we can find the right way in, isn't that the right door? Thank you, I thought so. <laughs> I don't know why it was being silly. But, no worries, we should be able to handle this, no problem. Oh, I forgot to change my formation. Ugh. I always forget. Let's see. Probably only one senshi's attack is going to be enough to finish it off since I'm using the level 15 cheat, basically. Let's see. How about sparkling white pressure? And I don't think the other girls are going to get to do anything, but... Fire Soul! Moon Spiral Heart Attack! Ami! Siobhan Spray! I should let Ami attack because it's her boyfriend in trouble. But I think... Oh yeah, the stocking goes first. I forgot. I forgot the stocking goes first. Well, makes sense. Okay, um... What is it? B2? Or Enter? Uh, no. Um, isn't it B to get out of this? Or enter again, okay. Um, what is it to get into? Is it Y? I want to change my formation, thank you. It's X. Ugh. I'm so used to playing this on my PSP, that's why. Um... Yeah, arrow formation, that should be fine. Let's see... How about we switch... We not go with... Um, there! Perfect! Sorry that took me a minute there, guys. Okay. It really is because I'm used to playing this on my PSP, and, yeah. <laughs> the buttons are obviously different on the PSP to do this. Dang, that loaded slow. Um, yeah. Let's stick with what we were doing. Guess the emulator's struggling a little bit for some reason. It was fun last time, though. I guess it'll do this every so often. Dang, that slowdown. Sorry, guys. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't happen too often. But I think it is the ROM, I'm not... It's either the ROM or the emulator. I think the emulator, actually. I've seen other people play this on the emulator, and it does slow down at some points during battles, so... That might be it. But Omicron! Yeah, there he is. Are you alright? Uramakun? Mizuno san. Uramakun! Hang in there! Just hang on! It's okay. He's only unconscious. Ayona! Surely Queen Beryl has been revived. Ooh. Don't want to run into her, do we? 
Anyway, let's get back to the Hikawa Shrine. Yes, I think they called Ray's Shrine something different in the English dub. Cherry Blossom Shrine? Something like that? I don't remember, anyway. But I will come. Are you alright? Yes, I'm alright now. Well, Mizuno-san. I had a vision in my dream. The past and the future changed places. Oh, I should correct something I said in the previous part. This is not the Cray Machine guy. Uh, he's from one of the ami centric episodes in Season 1, but I don't remember. I think maybe he went to her cram school that she goes to, you know, where um, she and Usagi met? Or no? Well, yeah. Kind of. Um, maybe that's where he's from. I don't remember for sure. The Cray Machine guy is actually someone, Lita. Er, not Lita. Makoto man. <laughs> what? I don't understand it very well, but... History. No. Destiny will change. Oh! I remember now! He was one of the people who had the rainbow crystals, I think. Yeah. Now I remember. That's why he was so important. Destiny? So, the future has been replaced? No. The past has also been replaced. The past? Hmm. Curious and curiouser. Ha! Katsu! That's... Who is it? An enemy? My name is Sin. This is merely a greeting. <coughs> I'm all covered in soot! What was that? I don't know. <coughs> hey, Rei-chan, your face is pitch black. Oh, shut up! <coughs> Rei-chan, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. My clothes are all dirty. Yes, and for fans of Inuyasha, does that red and white outfit look very familiar? Well, that's because Rei is also a priestess or Miko, a shrine maiden, just like Kagome and Kikyo. Pretty cool. Technically, Rei was first, because she came out long before Inuyasha did, or Sailor Moon in general did. I'm gonna go take a bath. <laughs> Don't blame you, Ray. Whew! Soot all over you? That must stink really bad. Sin, hmm. That's what it said. Who is it? A new enemy? Ray, telephone! It's Haruka! Haruka, yes. Uh, I'll take the call for her. Alrighty, Sagi, let's go. Oh, I forgot, you can talk to them. Sagi chan Answer the phone, quickly! <laughs> okay, Minako. Shouldn't you get the phone? Yes, Makoto. We're going, Makotan, don't worry. We'll get the phone before it stops ringing or whatever. Not that it would in a video game. Oh! So you're going to take the call, Usagi. Oh well, I asked for someone, so I guess. Yeah, fun fact! In the manga, Rei's grandfather looks nothing like this. They changed his appearance for the anime, the original anime. He wasn't actually ever seen in Sailor Moon Crystal, was he? Wow, no he wasn't. They must have cut his scenes out, I guess. I don't remember exactly where he was in the, uh, where he should have been, I should say, in the first two seasons of Crystal. I don't think he appears much in the third arc. Which, by the way, Sailor Moon Crystal Season 3 is by far the best out of the three. Hopefully, the two-part movie for the Dream Arc will follow suit. <laughs> Fingers crossed, huh? I think it is supposed to come out this year, but I don't remember for sure. Anyway. Hello, Haruka-san. Ah, Arango. Something terrible has happened. Arango means fun, by the way. Or Bunhead, as Viz translated it. Well, um, 
I don't go at Tama. Is Bunhead. Hotaru's fallen ill. Oh, not Hotaru. Huh? What happened? Is she sick? No. This is. The doctors don't know either. But this could be. If you don't come here, I can't tell you. So come to the Juluban Hospital right away. What's wrong? Something's happened to Otaru chan. Otaru chan? I just have to go to Juluban Hospital for a while. Alright, guess we should get moving. By the way, Hotaru is definitely my favorite out of the Outer Senshi. And of course, she is Chibiusa's best friend. That plays part in why. Destiny changing? I wonder what in the world is beginning to happen? That's a good question, Ami-chan. We'll find out as the story goes on, that's for sure. Too many nasty things have been happening lately. Misaki-chan? I have to check out a few things. Okay then. If something happens, contact me. You got it, Luna. Will do. That's pretty fun, you can pull that. That's the bell they ring to offer up their prayers at Rei Shrine, I think. You see some people do that in the anime and the manga. Like, um, in the episode where Sailor Mars makes her debut. Is it in the... Is the bus thing in the, uh, original anime too? Must be. I think so. But yeah, the, either way, when Sailor Mars debuts, you see one of the missing child's parents. Um, I, I really can't remember if it happens in the anime and the manga, but... There's a child, and the parent comes to offer up prayers at Ray's shrine to hopefully find her child again. So yeah, that's what that little bell is. Now let's see if I can remember how to get to Juban Hospital. I believe it's this way. Oh wait a minute, can't I? Yeah, I thought so. If you hold L or R, you can uh speed run, speed walk. Is this it? Or is this the high school? Yeah, I think this is the high school. No! Is that you? Or is that somebody who just looks like you? Yep. Have you seen Amino? I forgot where we were where we were meant to meet. <laughs> yeah, they're a thing. Okay, so that's Juban High. Or is it technically middle school? Because Usagi is only... She's a middle school student. Okay, where is it? I think it's here. Here it is. Yeah. There it is. Juban Hospital. There we go. Tomoa Tadesan's hospital room is on the third floor. It's the one on the far left. Thanks. Off we go! I forget if there's anything in any of the other rooms. May as well look. Well, actually I think we'll have another chance to explore around this part anyway. So, I can come back. I'm pretty sure. I think Kotaru is in here. Yeah. There she is. Haruka! Michiru! We've been waiting for you, Arango Atama. Bunhead. <laughs> Are you awake, Otaru-chan? Arango's come to see you. Huh? Why has Otaru-chan grown into a child? Otaru-chan? Are you okay? It only stopped hurting a while ago. I'm fine since you got here. What could have happened? She just started stumbling. She transformed back right in front of our eyes. Now, what's funny about this is, of course, this game came out before Sailor Stars. But this basically happens to Otaru and Sailor Stars. <laughs> Good guess on the part of the game creators. I actually have not seen Stars, I just kind of know what happens in it. And uh, well, I've read the manga version of Stars, but I have not seen the anime version. 
I will definitely watch it when Viz puts out their English dub of it, because that's going to be the first time it's been dubbed in English. So that's going to be interesting. But yeah. Yeah, but it was so painful. And the Mugen Gakuhen has been revived recently, too. I think something evil has begun happening. Yeah, Hataru, have you ever felt this kind of pain before? It was like when I was under the influence of the Tayoran Crystal. Yes, that is something from Crystal Season 3 and mainly the manga. I don't believe they mention it at all in Sailor Moon S. Trying to remember. It's been a while since I've watched it. But no, they don't mention it at all. They don't bring that up. The Saki Chan's Genzoisha seem to relieve the pain. The Tayoron Crystal? Then Hotaru chan, are you going to turn back into Mistress Nine? That is a good question, although I'm unsure if she could without Chibiusa's soul slash heart. I think it's okay now. Yeah, Hotaru has opened her eyes and is a sailor senshi now. <coughs> oh, excuse me. She won't turn into an enemy. When I collapsed, I felt that I was enveloped by darkness. But that evil power... That evil power is an enormous power of darkness. I felt like my destiny was being influenced by something else. A strong new power. Excuse me, but it's time for a checkup. Wait a minute. This room should be marked no entry. Who or what are you? <laughs> I'm gonna get you troublesome, Sailor Senshi. We'll see about that. Die! Another enemy. Nice try. But Sailor Neptune was not fooled. Since she was the one who spotted it, how about we let her do deep submerge? The rest of you, guard. Alright. Deep submerge! Good job, me too! Easy peasy. Didn't we once beat that enemy before? This is the second time a Daimon has attacked today. Why are enemies that we've already beaten being revived? I wonder what this could be. If, it, if its destiny was changed the same way as mine, I think it might be possible. The power to change destiny? That's stupid! I wonder who the heck these enemies are? We will find out. Right now! <laughs> Apsu-sama! We have completed the first stage of our strategy. In a few places previously beaten enemies have been revived and attacked some people. The destiny of the Jiuban district of the 20th century has been changed. I have put you through much. Take this as a present. Ooh. With this, you should become more powerful than the Sailor Sench. You may step down. Thank you very much, Apsu-sama. Or, Lady Apsu. Which I think is what it would translate to. I'm not an expert! But I think that's right. With this, we can become stronger than those legendary Sailor Senshi. Ah, our destiny shall certainly be changed. That's what I thought, too. Are you people satisfied already? I'm still anxious. I'm with Marduk. And Sharsama. It's too early to be satisfied. The Sailor Sentry are still not dead. To turn destiny into what we truly desire, we must retrieve the Ginzoi Shell from those who possess it. We shall only have a chance if we get the Ginzoi Shell. That's true. The power of the Ginzoi Shell is too strong to ignore. So, we have crossed over time, protected by the Ginzoi Shell, and arrived in this time. 
This is our chance. Appella has become strong, too. At the moment, the Sailor Sentry are separated into two different groups. Okay, now is our chance. We can get those girls. Do not act easily towards the princess, if you do indeed want to change destiny. Anyway, let's check out the town a little bit. Alright. Perhaps we can find a clue left behind by the enemy. Yeah, okay. I can feel that something's about to happen. Let's go back to my house to make sure that everyone is safe. Okay, let's go. Wait, I'm going too. You have to rest. I'm a Sailor Senshi too. I can't just rest while everyone fights. I don't want Destiny to be changed any more than it already has. Can we take Otani-chan along too? Alright. Okay. You can come with us. Take care, okay? Thanks, everyone. Alright. Well, interesting. The plot thickens. More diamonds are back, and those mysterious other, uh, well, our enemy. I don't want to spoil the name of the group yet. Well, they're up to something. They're on the move to attack us even more. So, yeah. But I think I'm going to stop this part here, and we'll go back to Usagi's house next time and see what's going on. Try to get some more info. But until then. See you guys next time.